Hello you guys and welcome to my YouTube video. This video is gonna be a little bit different than what I normally put on my channel. I've had so many questions from people about like just all things home related and I think it's because like being at home people are just like thinking more about like how to decorate their home and what items to put in their house and so I've had so many questions about my like home especially because I did um, a recent quarantine vlog which I'll link below for you guys if you guys wanna watch it. And then I also did a home tour over on my Instagram. And so I just figured I would do a whole video and link everything in the description box for you guys. I did a video a long time ago, like when we first moved in here a couple years ago, um, but I haven't done a recent update. So yeah, I wanna do this video. Click the subscribe button if you guys wanna see more videos like this. I upload fashion related videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so three times a week, every single week. So yeah, I'm just gonna like show you guys around the house. I hope you guys enjoy this video and give it a thumbs up if you guys do. And let's just get into the video. So I figured I would start on the outside so you guys can get an idea of what it really looks like when you first walk in. As you guys can see, when you first walk in, there's like a ton of natural light, like just so much. And so the first thing that I wanna show you guys is this little area right here. Honestly, one of my favorite areas in the home, and I think it's just because I love all the gold details in this area. Um, all of the pieces I picked out myself in this home, and so I'm really like proud of it, and I took a lot of time and attention to finding these pieces. Um, but I also used a lot of these pieces from um, decoration that we had in our wedding. So if you guys haven't seen, <laughs> hi bud. <laughs> Uh, if you guys haven't seen our wedding vlog, you guys should go check that out because we also um, decorated our own wedding. So yeah, um, the first piece right here. <laughs> All right, go. So this first piece right here, my mom actually gave this to me when I got my own office like a few years back. Um, I'll try to link items similar if they're not still available, but I will link like exact items if they are. Um, these right here I actually got from Hobby Lobby and we planned to like put like plants and stuff in them and have them as like cute little planters but then we ended up just like leaving them. Um, I think they look kind of cute, they're just really different like that and maybe when it starts to get like warmer I'll actually put some plants in them. Um, this right here is from Hobby Lobby and it's so pretty. It's actually like probably um, looks way more expensive than it actually was. It is see if I can get it off here. It is just so light, like literally, it's just like super light. It's not heavy at all, but it looks honestly like it would be a really, really heavy piece and it's just so beautiful and I love it. I think that it's just like a really um, nice addition to your home. I love like taking things down and like showing people because I feel like sometimes when you look at decorations, you think that it's way more expensive than it actually is, and it's just like not. Um, this right here was something that we got um, before we got married and we had it at our wedding. Um, it says, 
um, the date that we first started dating and it says the day that I um, said yes after Brady proposed and then like the best day, the day that we actually got married. Um, I got this off of Etsy, um, like the inside and then I just got like a gold frame from Hobby Lobby and I put it in there. Honestly, a lot of this decor is from Hobby Lobby, so I'll try to link it below, but I feel like Hobby Lobby is so affordable, but depending on how you like put the pieces together, you can elevate the look. Um, I got this also from Hobby Lobby. We use this at our wedding as well. We used it for um, bells for when people like, you know, cheer you like out of the church after you get married. And so we just repurposed it and we put like our keys and stuff in here. Um, and it, honestly, there's like keys, headphones, like everything that you'd need like right before you walk out the door. And then this plant right here is just a fake plant that I also grabbed. Um, actually, I think I grabbed this one from Target now that I think about it. Um, but I will link like similar options below or like the actual item that I um, picked up. And then this big piece right here, um, we got this from a, I think this was from like a, um, like warehouse that has like a ton of like really expensive furniture and it was in Missouri. Um, I think Macon, Missouri was where we got it. So yeah, this is this area. And then I grabbed this at um, Walmart. So yeah, let's get into like the second space of uh, the living room. Oh, I just realized I forgot to mention where this piece was from. Uh, the let all you do be done in love sign was also purchased from Hobby Lobby. This next space of our home is like our television area and I honestly just wanted to sit because I feel like most of the stuff is like really low um, and you can't really see it if I'm standing up. So yeah, um, obviously our television is just a television so nothing special there. Um, but these three items my sister actually got for me. Um, we usually just kind of like throw stuff in there but recently with all of like the cleaning and like picking up um, and stuff that I've been doing during quarantine. These are actually empty right now. Um, so I think that I'm gonna just put like maybe um, remotes and things like that in them. I actually have three of them and they were from Ross. I think they're a really nice like texture and they add just a little detail to um, what would normally be just like a pretty much plain brown um, TV stand. We actually got this TV stand from um, Target, it was really affordable. And I think that it's like super just like, I don't know, it looks really um, mid-century modern, which is the vibe that we were going for. Um, and then these are just like magazines. Um, this right here is a speaker system, nothing crazy, but I try to keep it there um, for whenever we are getting ready to like go outside because we have like a big backyard area we grill a lot. Maybe I'll throw this in here. That would be a good spot for it. Right down here is this basket that I grabbed from uh, Hobby Lobby. I also kind of throw like knickknacks and things in here, but it's empty right now because quarantine is making me clear everything out. So I'll probably move like those magazines over here um, or put like that black um, little like cable thing in here or something like that. I use this as just kind of like a cover up for things that I need to have in here, but I don't necessarily want them to be seen. So yeah, that's kind of this area. Um, let's go over, oh, let me show you guys this. Um, I got this pompous grass from um, Pier 1. It actually still needs to be put into a container. Um, I don't currently have one um, right now, so I'm like on the hunt for one. I just haven't found one that I really like. Um, so yeah, that's this area. I think I showed you guys pretty much everything. There's a little basket over there where I keep blankets. Um, I just kind of throw blankets in there. It's not like aesthetic or anything. It's literally just where the blankets. Um, so yeah, let me show you guys the next section of the living room.
This next section of the living room is one of my favorites and I think it's because it's just such a cozy little area. Obviously the fireplace is right here, which I love. Um, and then there's also like a small little love seat. Um, but I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of these pieces in this area. Um, this mirror was actually one that we grabbed from our old home. I'm not really sure where it is actually from. Um, and then these right here are from Hobby Lobby and I love these. They're such a really like nice, sturdy, um, like candle holder. And we actually use these on our wedding table. We had like a, um, like a family style table. And so like all our bridesmaids and groomsmen all sat at the same table as us. And we were at like a really long table. We just wanted it to be more like community style. Um, so yeah, we have a ton of these and we grab these from um, Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby actually has deals where you can like, buy like one and buy um, the other one for 50% off. And so these are like a really good um, piece to have not only for like a wedding, but also in a home, like just so many different ways to use them. And we just keep those three over there. This bookend right here was also, um, I think this was also from, no, this was from, this bookend was from Target. It was actually from the, um, Magnolia line and we just got two. I think they're really really cute. They're actually not as heavy as you would think but they kind of look like a sturdy like really nice um, bookend. Obviously you guys can see that book is staying up on its own. It hasn't like fallen or anything. Um, so these are really sturdy but they're definitely like super affordable um, and good for your budget. This dream sign was from Hobby Lobby as well. Oh my gosh, I keep saying Hobby Lobby. This is not from Hobby Lobby. I literally look on the bottom and it says Ross. Um, and it says it was $6.99 from Ross. So I'll try to find something similar if I can't find the exact thing, but I actually bought this for my office um, when I was living in Missouri and um, now I just moved it to my home and I love like repurposing things. Like if I change my office aesthetic or like I want to use something for a wedding or I like buy decorations for a friend's baby shower. I love being able to like repurpose things and use them in my home or like for other things as well. Um, so that is this sign. This Mr. and Mrs. Um, picture was actually one, um, that we used at our wedding and I, I'm pretty sure this one's actually from Hobby Lobby. Like I'm pretty sure. Um, and I think it's like a really nice frame. It's very heavy and really nice. These two candle holders, I actually got these from Etsy. Um, they had like a really nice like antique-y um, type feel and I really like that. And they're just like the brass um, and I think they're just like a really nice addition to a home. Um, and the last piece I actually, grabbed i'm not gonna like get close to it but i'll like show you guys like a close-up video but i actually got this from a little uh store that's in our area um they have like the most beautiful um pieces that are just like really unique unique so i will link them um, i'm pretty sure they do online orders too so um, yeah, you guys can definitely grab that for yourself if you want to. This is a little cozy area that's so nice to just like relax at. Um, we got this lamp. Let's turn it off so you guys can see it a little bit better. We grabbed that lamp over there from Target and it's like a really nice lamp. We use it all the time and then this couch is, uh, or this love seat is one that we like seriously love. We got it from like a furniture store here, I think it's called. Oh gosh, I think I took a nap, literally was sitting on it, but I'm pretty sure it's called Furniture Row. Um, and this picture up here, we actually um, grabbed from Hobby Lobby. Let's get into the next uh, space in the home. This next area of our living room that we absolutely love is this little like couch area and um, having this little um, like 
coffee table to use. Um, I'm gonna turn on this light behind me just because that's usually like how we like to have um, the house. So this little plant I actually grabbed from um, Hobby Lobby. Go figure, I feel like everything's from there. Um, and then I have um, two books. And we keep these books on our table. This is just uh, my husband and I, and we use this as a guest book in our wedding. Like I said, I love to repurpose items. And then this is a book from um, college, and it shows like him when he played football. Um, so yeah, we like to keep these on our coffee table so people can look through them. This next item is a really cute thing that we actually got as a gift, and it's a coaster of a Rottweiler. We have a Rottweiler, so it's kind of ironic. Um, but it's super like nice and sturdy. Um, we use these a lot in our home. And this next item I love so much. It is used all the time and it's like this serving tray, but we just keep it um, in the middle of our um, like coffee table. I think it just is a nice added bonus and it obviously has our last name on it and it was given to us as a wedding gift, but I will link some similar ones because I know that these are done like on Etsy and stuff um, and I think they have like some similar ones on there. All right, so let's get into the next section of our living room. Believe it or not, there is still more. Oh, I totally forgot to show you guys where our uh, couch was from. We got this couch from Furniture Row, and then these pillows right here did not come with a couch, and they are actually pillow covers. I found these on Etsy, and they are like, they're kind of pricey, but they are like a leather look, and I really, really love them. I think there's some on Amazon too, but literally, I just unzip, and then you see like the actual pillow that um, came with the couch. I'm looking for more pillow covers to go with these pillows, because this is what came with the couch. We obviously covered them up, um, a few of them with this color, but I didn't want them all to be this color, so I'm looking for like a plain, something similar to like this, um, just for, like to cover it up because I feel like this goes well with like a plain color. So yeah, that's um, where we're at for now. And then I forgot to show you guys like the coffee table that actually came from Target. It is a pain to put together, so just keep that in mind um, if you guys end up purchasing it, but it's so nice because there's glass on the outside um, and so it looks like really modern and new, but then it has that like woodsy feel on top. So yeah, I love that. So this next little section is kind of random and it's like when you first walk in, but I didn't want to miss it. Um, I got this from my mom um, years back, but there's like a ton available um, in on like Etsy and stuff. So I will link similar ones below, but she just spray painted it for me because it was like gold and honestly, I just didn't want too much like brass in here. There's already a lot of gold. So I thought the white would look better. And then this little holder was actually from Hobby Lobby, believe it or not. Um, and we just hold like all of our mail and stuff in there. So yeah, that's that area. Let's get into uh, the next section of the living room. This next section of the living room is actually one of my favorites and I think it's because it's such a nice place to relax. You guys can actually see our dining room in there. Um, drop in the comments below if you guys wanna see more like tours of our home. The bedroom, I'm telling you, is like one of my favorite places in our home. Um, but also the dining room is nice and the kitchen. So like if you guys wanna see um, more videos like this then I can do like a kitchen video and a bedroom video. Um, but yeah, so this little area is just so cute. I got these as a gift. I do not remember where they were from. Um, I wanna say either Target, Ross, or Hobby Lobby, because that's literally where everything's from. Um, but I will link below um, similar ones or these exact ones if I can find them, but I got these as a gift. And then this um, chair we actually got as a gift as well, but I think it's a, just a nice addition to the living room because it kind of changes up like the feel. There's lots of like light colors and there's lots of like, um, I don't know, like beige colors. And so having this like burgundy tone in with the browns was really nice. Um, these curtains I got from 
Target, I think. And they're like a, um, they're, they have like a gold tint on the inside and then I got these for the outside. They're just really flowy and they're like really nice because I can open up the window and then just leave those like flowy pieces um, to be on the inside so you don't have to have everyone seeing literally everything in your home. Um, these wine glasses I got from Crate and Barrel and then um, there's just like the wine rack up there. There are a ton of wine racks like this on Etsy, so I will link them below, but literally this is like, I'm so glad I got this wine rack um, because I feel like it's so unique. It literally just looks like someone threw it together with like scraps of wood and that was the idea that we were going for because we want this room to be like, I don't know, just like mid-century modern, like lots of like woodsy like bohemian feel so yeah it's like really cool and we use it all the time all right you guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate it so much if you guys want to see a kitchen review or like our dining room um then click the subscribe button below and let me know so that i can bring that video to you guys um in another like video on my channel and check out my instagram if you guys haven't already because i also uh post pictures every single day but I also like upload a lot of things in real time so this house tour was done actually like a couple weeks back um, whenever it was requested by a couple gals so um, I try to do things more on real time there and I post on my stories every day and on my feed every day so yeah I'll see you guys in my next one bye